Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video I will be sharing with you guys three days that I spent in Cholet Le Pontreau Aerodrome. So I did the I went to a Cholet Le Pontreau Aerodrome uh because um uh I was doing it for school. I had to um do an observation in a professional area and as all of you guys know I am an absolute aviation geek. So I decided to do it in an airport. Uh, so yeah, so let's just get straight into it. But first, let's take a quick history lesson on Sholi Aerodrome. So it was built in 1873, and after that, there wasn't a lot going on. Until 1910, when the famous Roland Garros passed his pilot license. But unfortunately, he died, he died eight years later, in 1918, during World War I. So Roland Garros isn't actually um, a tennisman, and I don't know why the um, tennis championship is called Roland Garros, but uh, that's he was actually a pilot. Uh, so then in 1930, the Aero Club, which is an area, uh, um, a facility where you can learn how to, how to be a pilot. Uh, so it was created by Leon Guerino in, as I said, 1930. In 1965, the aerodrome was open for public service. A bigger runway was built for more important aircrafts. Then, in 1971, the control tower was built, and the runway was equipped with night beacons in 1974. So as you can see, uh, right now, so in 2020, you can control the lights with this. So it's just a screen, uh, you can just click on on, off, etc, etc. And that can turn the lights on for the runway and taxiway. Um, then, in the 70s, Air Cholet operated flights from Cholet to Paris. So, uh, uh, this airline is now bankrupt because it. Uh, I didn't see it in Cholet, so I believe it's bankrupt. Uh, but finally, in 2018, the aerodrome welcomed... 20,600 uh, 20, flights, including 18 commercial flights for 48 passengers. And now, let's get to day one. So, at day one, I arrived at 9pm, and the uh, AFIS agent, so AFIS means Aerodrome Flight Information Service, so the Aerodrome Flight Information Service agent explained to me how the Aerodrome basically works. So different taxiways, how long the uh, runway was, so he is, it is um, 1.3 kilometers. Uh, Cholet actually has two runways, there's one made out of uh, concrete or uh, whatever, like made out of um, asphalt maybe, something like that, and the other one is uh, just grass. So actually two runways, but they only use the um, asphalt concrete one, whatever you want to I don't know what the material is used. Um, so yeah, uh, then I took a nice video of the 1.3 kilometer uh, runway, which I managed to go on and do the um, checking later. After that, I went into a few hangars. I saw some really cool planes. Uh, there were some planes that were uh, from the 70s, so they are actually old. But I learned something is that uh, when basically, as long as the plane is fit to fly, it is considered as new. So that is actually really interesting. So even though it it's from the 70s, uh, it can still um, it's uh, it can still fly and it's still considered as new. Uh, then I ate a sandwich, so very interesting, as you all know. Um, but then uh, I spent the entire afternoon in a training facility called Airways Cholet. At the start, I visited the hangar, and I saw different types of aircraft. I won't be able to name them, uh, but there was uh, there was one Piper, and the three few other ones. I I don't know the name again. I'll I'll put a picture right here. I just don't know what it's called. Um, then I um, I went on a simulator. So uh, um, it's all sim, 
that make uh, this simulator. I don't know how it's called. I'll just put a picture here. I don't actually have a picture. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, so I did a flight from Cholet to Angers. Uh, so I had three landing attempts. On the first landing attempt, on the first landing attempt, I actually crashed. On the second, I managed I managed to land safely. So uh, he spawned me at uh, two thousand feet, and I had to do a um, a loop. I don't know what it's called, but like a loop to go back to Angers. And so I actually managed to land safely. And then on the third attempt, I was at three thousand feet, but with uh, Flaps down, so fully down. Uh, so uh, it was either I landed on the runway with the wrong speed, or on the grass with the right speed. And so I decided to go on the grass, but with the right speed. And then I visited the building. So there were actually some really nice persons. Uh, they had the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 installed upstairs. Uh, and yeah, so that's basically it. So part two, so day two will be out tomorrow. I'll try and get it out tomorrow. Maybe it won't be out tomorrow, uh, but we'll see. Uh, and yeah, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, thank you so much for 100 subscribers. Uh, but yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.